In this video, I'm going to show you everything to study for the science portion on the ATIT's test and how I received an advanced score and ranked a 93 percentile nationally. Hello, my name is Yua. I am a second semester nursing student. I do post weekly nursing content, so do subscribe if you would like to see those nursing content. Go ahead and keep watching, and I'm going to show you everything I did and everything I studied. I would highly recommend that if you have not taken anatomy or physiology, please take anatomy and physiology before taking your ATITs test. It is so difficult to comprehend and really understand the material. If you have not even been familiarized with the terminology, and it just comes easier if you've already taken anatomy and physiology. In this science portion, you will focus on biology, chemistry, life science, and more specifically anatomy and physiology. So let's start off with just general biology and life sciences. So for general biology, you want to understand basically DNA and RNA, what kind of nucleic acids and what makes up RNA and DNA. You also want to focus on the different organelles that make up a cell. So for example, a mitochondria, the nucleus, the Golgi apparatus, what are their functions and what do they do in a cell. You also want to focus on mitosis and meiosis, know the difference, where they occur, and the different phases of those process. You will also want to know what is the scientific method and the different steps and be able to differentiate which one goes where in the process. Know what is an independent versus a dependent variable. Now chemistry. For chemistry, you want to be a little bit familiarized with the periodic table, where, how it's placed, and be able to tell from that element what the number represents. Is it the proton? How to get the neutron? Also, how to balance the equation as well, and being able to differentiate between, you know, what is a proton, what is a neutron, and what is an electron. Now, lastly, to the last part, which makes up the most amount of your questions on the ATITs test, is anatomy and physiology. So anatomy and physiology, you want to really know all the different systems, what they do, what are the major organs in that system, and how do they play a part in that system. So for example, the endocrine system, you need to know exactly what hormones are released and from what gland or which organ. So for example, you need to know that the penile gland releases melatonin and what melatonin does. It helps with sleep cycles. Also, a huge system is the cardiovascular and circulatory system. You need to understand the flow of blood through the heart as it goes through the lungs and out to circulation as well. So make sure you touch up on the circulation of blood. Another thing to study for a &P as well as anatomy, you kind of want to know what are the major skeletons and how, where they attach, where they are proximal distal to which bone, be familiar with those major bones. So those were the major parts that you need to study, which is general bio, chemistry, anatomy, and physiology. That's pretty much it. And obviously, just a little bit about the scientific method. Now, what my tips and tricks for you is that I really recommend you to give yourself enough time to study. So give yourself one to two months to really just hone down on specific areas that you are not familiar with. For anatomy and physiology, it is such a huge portion of the science portion that you really want to take the most time to really focus on this. So what I recommend is going system by system. Starting with one of the biggest major systems first, so maybe you want to start off with respiratory or you know the cardiac, cardiovascular, circulatory system first. Really get familiar with that and comfortable with knowing which organs play a role in that system, what is the main function of that system before moving on to the next system. I know that one system not necessarily is isolated, they all inter you know relate and work together, but if that's what makes you focus on just one system at a time, that's what I would do. And then after you've done all of your studying, try to give yourself one practice test and then really do your best on that practice test. Take those results and look at the areas that you aren't doing as well in. So you just focus on the areas that you aren't doing as well in versus re-studying everything that takes too much time. Just focus on your weak areas because you just don't need to waste your time on things you already know. Now I'm going to share with you all my resources that I used to study. So first of all, I did use the Mometrics ATIT's Secret Study Guide textbook. I do feel like this gives like a pretty good general idea for the science portion, but it's not enough in depth. 
I do recommend that if you do already have anatomy or physiology textbook, reference those. Those are probably even better. I did also have my human biology textbook that I did also use, and it was very, very helpful referencing back because the Mometrics book does not touch up enough on each individual body system. And then for anything that I did need to clarify, I did also use a previous human physiology book. I'm pretty sure any other one that you currently have will do just fine, but it's great and it really just goes into detail what every system really does. Some other great free resources also available on YouTube are the Mometrix Tease Test Preparation channel. So go ahead and check them out, especially if you have the Mometrix textbook because I feel like it goes great alongside with that. Also check out Khan Academy, especially their crash courses. They go such in detail into the different science um, systems and it just, they break it down and visually just so much easier to connect the idea and the topic with a visual. Also, there is a free ATI T6 study group on Facebook. Definitely go and follow that group on Facebook if you are on Facebook. They do so much great practice questions. There's so much great resources on that Facebook group and there's so much like study guides. So I would highly, highly recommend that. I will go ahead and link everything down in my description on the different channels, the different textbook resources, and also that Facebook group as well. Also, if you haven't seen my overall how to study, what to study to make sure you pass on the first try on the ATIT's test video, I'll link it right here in the cards and also down in the description for you. But watch that video so you can see an overview on what to study and how to study to make sure you pass on the first try. If you did enjoy watching this video, do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what other nursing tips and tricks you would like me to teach you, especially for the ATIs taste test. If you enjoyed watching this video, do continue watching these two videos right over here and to your right and watch my playlist on how to survive nursing school. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.